Okay, continuing on, continuing on with our form, we're going to add a few more elements inside of this personal details section here. So let's jump back to our code. And I'm doing everything here by hand, um, but oftentimes it's easier to use a WYSIWYG editor to build forms because of their complexity. Um, so let's add our next element. Now for this next one, we're actually going to add in a description. So this would be something like a comment field where people would enter a comment or a bigger text area for multi-line data input. And so the first thing is to add the label. So we're always going to add these. We'll say label for equals, and I'll just call this description. And then say we'll say description here and close the label. And the next thing I'm actually going to hit return a few times and scroll up to get this a little bit more centered so it's a little easier to read. So we're not quite down at the bottom. And let's add the text area. The tag here is actually called text area. So text area and then name equals description. And this has two additional attributes that we haven't seen thus far. One is called calls equals, and I'll just say 45. In rows, I'll just say six. And then we simply close the text area. Okay, so let's save this and jump back and refresh here. And you can see that the text area adds this text area box right here. So it looks like actually something's broken because I click in here and it's jumping back to California, which it shouldn't be doing. And also, I forgot to put the break tag in between these two so that it uh, jumps down. So let's fix those few couple of issues. Let's add the break tag first. Save and refresh. Okay, that fixes that. Now we need to fix that label issue. And it looks like up here I forgot to close these labels. So I have an opening label tag right here. This right here should be a closing label tag. I have an opening label tag right here, and this one should be a closing label tag. So open and close, open and close, open and close. So that should fix that. Let's save and refresh there. And yeah, that is working now. And the only other problem I did is I actually added the break tag in the wrong spot. I was supposed to add that break tag back down here at the bottom before the label. So let's cut that out and paste that there. Control X and Control V. Save and refresh. Okay, so now that's working properly. Now to describe what these calls and, and uh, rows attribute does, it's fairly self-explanatory. But if I set this to 12 and save and refresh, that's the amount of rows that are available in the text area. And the calls represents columns or kind of the horizontal width. So if I set this to 85, it's going to be, whoops, got to delete that and reload that. Whoops, let's try that again. Reload. There we go. So that calls value refers to the horizontal width and rows the, the vertical width. So I'm going to set those back to 45 and 6 and save and refresh. Okay, so there's a good little portion of our form done. Let's add one more element to this top section before we move on to the submit button. And we're going to add a, another label down here. So I'm going to do another break tag and we'll add a label. So label for equals and we'll call this one upload. So this is going to be like an upload option. We'll say choose photo and then we'll close the label tag do a space here to keep it consistent and we'll do another input type equals and then this one's a little bit different it's called file input type equals file and name equals upload make that the same there and make sure that self closes and now let's save this and refresh and you can see what this does. So it says choose photo and depending on your operating system and your browser, it'll automatically put in this little choose file field for you. You don't have to do anything. You just click this and it launches your browser to where you can select a site or a file. I can choose an index page and select OK. And when I submit this form, it's actually going to upload this file along with the form. So again, you would need a script to process the data to do something with the file, but that's all you need to do to build the file upload 
um, portion into the web form. So that's it for this first section. In the next video, we'll finish off this form and talk a little bit about styling it.